Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're gonna work through some examples that start out with not zero over zero or infinity over infinity indeterminate forms, but that still allow us to use L'Hopital's rule to work through those indeterminate forms. So here we go. If we start here with the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the negative x times the square root of x. If we start to evaluate there, thinking about e to the negative x as x goes to infinity, looking at our graph or thinking through that, that goes to zero times our graph as x goes to infinity of square root of x goes off to infinity. So zero times infinity is an indeterminate form, but it is not one of the two that L'Hopital's rule covers. So what we need to do is just rewrite our function in our limit to see if we can make it into a quotient and therefore get one of those forms. So here I'm going to think through just taking this negative exponent and bringing this e to the x down to the bottom of my fraction bar. Now, when I go to evaluate this, my limit as x goes to infinity of square root x goes off to infinity as before, and my limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x also goes off to infinity. So now, just through that small rewrite, we have one of the indeterminate forms that allows us to use L'Hopital's rule. So again, I'm just going to write LH to indicate I'm using L'Hopital's rule and apply. So this will be the limit as x goes to infinity of, remember here, I take my derivatives independently. So independently, the derivative of x square root of x or x to the one half will be 1 half x to the negative 1 half, and my derivative for my denominator, or e to the x, is of course e to the x. I'm going to do a bit of rewriting here before I try to evaluate. So this will be the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over 2 times, we can either make that square root of x or leave it as x to the 1 half, times e to the x. So now that that's simplified, we'll go ahead and try to evaluate. Of course, here the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 is 1. And the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 times square root of x times e to the x is going to be 2 times infinity times the quantity going to infinity. In the denominator, 2 times infinity times infinity would behave like an infinite quantity, so this now becomes zero. So through a little bit of rewriting and then an application of L'Hopital's rule, we have that our original limit is zero. All right, let's take a look at another one. If we have here the limit as x goes to zero from above of x times cotangent x. If we evaluate here, the limit as x goes to 0 of x, of course, goes to 0. And thinking about cotangent, which I know has an asymptote at 0, the limit as x goes to 0 from above of cotangent x goes towards positive infinity. So here again, we have an indeterminate form, and we need to use something else. However, this is not one of the indeterminate forms that L'Hopital's rule covers, so we would need to use a different route. So let's just rewrite using the fact that cotangent x is the same thing as 1 over tangent x. So if we think of this now as x divided by tangent x, and we try to evaluate as x goes to 0 from above, then we get 0 over tangent of 0 is 0. So now we have one of our indeterminate forms that we can use L'Hopital's rule with. Okay, so applying L'Hopital's rule, we get the limit as x goes to 0 from above of the derivative of x is 1 over the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. We might find this easier to work with if we just realize that secant 1 over secant squared x is the same thing as cosine squared x. 
So now this limit would be cosine of zero squared, and the cosine of zero is one. One squared is one. So through some rewriting and an application of L'Hopital's rule, we get that our limit is one. All right, last but not least for this one, what if we get that infinite minus infinite indeterminate form? So here, the limit as x goes to zero of one over e to the x minus one minus one over x. Evaluating here, we would have one over e to the zero minus one minus one over zero. E to the zero goes to one, and one minus one goes to zero. So we have this one over zero minus one over zero, and in limit terms, one over zero behaves like infinity. So we get this infinity minus infinity, which is indeterminate, but not one of the L'Hopital's rule indeterminate forms. Since L'Hopital's rule covers zero over zero or infinity over infinity, we really want, instead of two separate fractions, one fraction. So we're gonna work here to get a common denominator. So one over e to the x minus one, I'm going to multiply that by x over x. And one over x, I'm going to multiply that by e to the x minus one, over e to the x minus 1. Again, working to get a common denominator so that I can get one fraction. So I will have the limit as x goes to 0 of x over x times e to the x minus 1 minus e to the x minus 1 over x times e to the x minus 1. Combining those into one fraction, I get the limit as x goes to zero of x minus e to the x plus one, careful there to distribute your negative, over x times e to the x minus one. Now if I evaluate that as x goes to zero, I get zero minus e to the zero plus one over zero times e to the zero minus one, which goes to zero minus one plus one over zero times one minus one, or zero over zero. So now by getting a common denominator, creating one fraction, we have the indeterminate form zero over zero, which allows us to bring in L'Hopital's rule. All right, so let's get in with our L'Hopital's rule. Now our limit as x goes to zero will be taking the derivative of the top, the derivative of x is one minus, derivative of e to the x is e to the x, plus the derivative of one is zero. On the bottom, I'm going to need to do my product rule here of x times e to the x minus one, so that will be one times e to the x minus one, plus x times e to the x. All right, so evaluating there, let's see. As x goes to zero, that would be one minus e to the zero over e to the zero minus one plus zero times e to the zero. That would be one minus one over one minus one plus zero, or zero over zero. So even after one iteration of L'Hopital's rule, we ended up with, again, zero over zero. So we'll do L'Hopital's rule one more time and that should take care of it for us. So L'Hopital's rule again, we get the limit as x goes to zero of, derivative of one is zero, so minus e to the x, our derivative is e to the x, Derivative here of e to the x is e to the x minus derivative of zero is, sorry, derivative of one is zero. Plus, here I'm gonna have to do my product rule for x e to the x. So that will be one times e to the x plus x times e to the x. 
Notice here, each and every term has an e to the x in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify by canceling that out. So this will be negative one over one plus one plus x, or the limit as x goes to zero of negative one over two plus x. Now, evaluating as x goes to zero, we get negative one over 2 plus 0 or negative 1 half. So it started out as an indeterminate form infinity minus infinity by rewriting and getting a common denominator and applying L'Hopital's rule twice we get is equal to negative 1 half. All right guys that does it for this video on other indeterminate forms and how to use L'Hopital's rule on them. We'll catch you in the next one.